Amazing radios. There's a reason all the top level guys are switching to Oxbow and you should too, honestly. Um, I stand behind this product 100%. All right guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a review on the Oxbow Renegade 2.0 radio. Let's get it. All right guys, and here we are with our Oxbow Renegade 2.0. This is a two-way radio running on an FRS frequency system. Basically what this means is you don't have to have a license to run this radio or anything like that. 22 channels and 121 sub-channels. So a huge variety of channel selections for you guys so that you don't get mixed up with other people. Um, now why, why do you need a radio? Well, let's talk about it. If you're in the backcountry snowmobiling, um, you're out riding single track, you're out even in your UTV or even camping, you need to have a radio for safety reasons. A lot of times people overlook the little things like communication from even 100 yards away. That's a big deal. And in fact, um, I have a couple examples that I'll share with you a little bit later on about how um, a radio actually put me in a bind due to the battery life uh, before I had the Oxbow. Um, anyway, um, and that's what led me to reach out to Oxbow and to um, give their product a test. And after one season of using this product, I have to say, this is hands down the best radio that I've ever used. Okay, now what are the features of the Oxbow? Well, let's flip the box around here and we'll talk about it. Um, Originally, this was built for snowmobilers, but we have found that this radio is great for everything. I mean, you can't go wrong with it one bit. Um, so, like I said, it's an FRS radio, a lot of, sub, a lot of channels and sub-channels. Um, it is an IP56 rated um, unit, so rain and snowproof. Now, um, I'm going to say this right off the bat. If you notice, there is a frog skin cover on this radio. Um, and what happened was Oxbow had a batch of radios where the speaker was bad and they were having water leak issues into it. Or sorry, the mic that is. And so I, I've never seen a company do this and I'm going to brag them up um, because this is unbelievable. What they did was they reached out and anybody that had the mic issue um, where you know you go, you go push to talk and um, you're not able to communicate with uh, your party, they actually allowed you to send in the old radio and they would send you a brand new radio with the fix. Now, if your radio didn't have the issue, they would send you the frog skin to put over to prevent that issue. Since then, um, they are working to fix this issue with the mics, but overall, these radios have been flawless, um, totally flawless. And Oxbow really does stand behind the product. So if you ever have an issue, reach out to them, they will get you fixed up, if not um, replaced. So. Um, amazing, amazing people. They have done a great job. Clayton over there has killed it. So um, it is two watt power, does have a removable lithium ion battery. The battery is insane. 36 hours of runtime plus. Now I have never had any kind of electronic device that would run 36 hours, let alone a radio. Um, and like I said, that instance where I did lose communication with my party um, in the middle of the mountain was due to a battery failure. So i um, super happy to have a 36 hour battery life and I have put it to the test. It does last that long. So um, range one to five miles in the mountains. I personally have reached out to somebody about four miles away with this. No problem. Um, and line of sight 25 plus. I mean, you can't beat that. That's amazing. So even if you're road tripping and you need to communicate, um, great radio to have on hand. All right, now let's talk about the functions of this radio. I'm not gonna go over every single detailed function of it, but I am gonna go over the basics for you. So over here is a giant push to talk button. I mean, it is massive and um, it's hard to miss. My other radios have been smaller, more compact, and sometimes it's hard to push with gloves on. This one's no problem. Um, detachable antenna. So if you ever break it or anything like that, it can be removed and replaced for very cheap. Um, right here is your buckle clip, your, uh, sorry, your shoulder mount strap. Um, this is the actual strap itself right here. I'll show you how that works here in a moment. Underneath, you've got your eject for your um, battery. Push up on that, the battery comes out. And then right there is your type C connector to charge your battery. Um, and it does have an LED indicator on the charging. So red if it's charging and then green when it's done. Um, over here, you have your connections. You've got a port for a mic and a port for your headset. If you are wanting to run um, a headset, along with your radio, you can do that. So um, now, as far as the radio goes, menu button right here gets you through your sub channels and your main channels. Sorry, let me go back here. Sub channel only. Your main channel is just up and down. 
right here. So you have your 22 main and then your 121 sub channels. So I'm running 822 right now. Um, settings. Now this is your voice activated. So if you want to just voice activate and not push to talk, you can use this. Um, and that works with a headset or something like that. So um, voice activation. Right here, you've got your push to talk um, Roger beep. So that is on. So when I hit this, you'll get a Roger beep every time. And you can see right there, the LED lights up when you're transmitting. And anyway, it gives you just a little bit of a heads up there. All right, and then this is your button beep. So if you turn this on, every time you push a button, you're gonna get a beep. So we don't need that on, obviously. And that's basically everything you need to know about it. Now, the nice thing about this is you push and hold, and this will lock. You see the little lock come up there in the bottom corner? That tells you that no matter what, you can't change, mess anything up, whatever. But your push to talk does work. Everything else has been disabled. Hold it, and that will unlock it, and now you're back to changing channels or volume or whatever. Um, your volume is right here, and this thing is loud. I mean, this is the loudest radio I've ever had in my life. And he's gonna take you around, so heads up. Otherwise, everybody else, group up over here, and we're gonna group up after KJ gets down safe. We're gonna group up and mosey back to the lot. Alright, and then the other thing is that you can hear the radio from the lot. You can hear the radio from the lot. Been able to hear it over my sled while I'm riding. Um, previous radio radios that I have, previous companies, um, they don't go that loud, and sometimes that's a problem because you have to stop, you have to shut your sled off, you have to get on your radio and listen. Okay, now if you buy the Oxbow Renegade 2.0, what do you get? Well, you get one radio, a lithium ion battery, your adapter, your USB C charger, the shoulder strap mount, and the hand strap. So everything that you need to be ready to run with a pack. Um, now they do have riveted mounts, things like that stuff that you can use, but I'm going to show you real quick how to install the shoulder strap mount and how easy it is to use. So nice little um, design right here. You're going to take this. It's got, um, you know, some grip right there on the inside. This is just a climb neck pack, nothing crazy. And I'm going to take it and you can see where it's been mounted for a long time. It hasn't moved. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to wrap it around my strap, get it to a place where I want it and to the angle that I want it, which is very important, probably about right there. And then I'm just going to press it until it is nice and snug. And then the radio simply just clips right into it and you're good to go. Now, obviously I would probably put that tab on the other side. It was on the other side actually, away from your push to talk and then you don't bump into that. But that is how easy it is to install it to a pack um, you can do the same thing on a seat belt, um, anything that you need to attach it to. And there are other mounts on, whoops, on Oxbow's website. And so if you guys need something specific, you can go on there and find the correct mount for you. Okay, now why Oxbow over anybody else? Well, I'm going to just tell you straight up. Um, I'm sponsored by Oxbow, but I'm going to give you my unbiased opinion based on my own experience. So far, this radio has been the best radio I've ever owned. I've already said that. Um, it, it, it performs in every function just a little bit better than everybody else has. So um, the buttons are larger. Um, the display is, I mean, you can see it in the brightest of light, no problem. Um, no tethered mic, so you don't have to worry about putting the radio in your bag and then having the mic on your shoulder. That is, I mean, that's just a pain in the butt. And the radio is so compact, yet big enough that you can do everything with a glove on. It's amazing that way. And um, it works just like a regular walkie-talkie if you need it to. So it's, it's the most universal radio and the price. You get the best bang for your buck. And like I said before, your, your warranty um, and those guys at Oxbow, they stand by this product. Um, and I, I cannot thank them enough for all the support that they've given us. Um, now, the other thing is, battery life is the biggest thing for me. Battery life and range, obviously. Um, and then ho holding up to the elements, and I've had no problems with my radio, actually. Um, the, the issue I had with the previous radio that I had was um, battery life would only last anywhere from six to eight hours max. And that was if the conditions weren't really bad. If it was negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit out there, whatever, um, which we have had that before up in the mountains, um, it gets pretty chilly. Um, the battery life just drops significantly. And with this radio, I have actually forgot to charge it a few times and 
I still go up on the mountain. I've got three bars and sometimes two. I've never been below two bars on this radio. So if you forget by chance that you need to charge it and you're going out for a ride, you're good to go if you rode the previous day for eight hours. You have a plenty of battery life, so that's not an issue. So in a circumstance where you're stranded on a mountain um, and or somebody can't find you but they have the radio, you have a lot of battery life left. You can test that all the time. You don't have to shut it off and hope that you're gonna have enough battery life later on. So um, that's the biggest thing. Um, now, my scenario that I wanted to tell you guys the story, um, and I have some videos here. Actually, I have a whole video up on it. Um, I literally just got stuck next to a tree, um, got my running board stuck on my snowmobile through a small tree, and I was stuck in this little patch of trees that had a huge, huge, just kind of meadow um, and, and small valley around it. And so um, when I got stuck at that time, my battery had died on my radio. So I was able to receive um, communication but I was not able to transmit my battery was too dead to transmit and it ended up being a stuck that was pretty bad that took me about 45 minutes to get out of and in the meantime guys are calling me on the radio hey where are you at where are you at we can't find you give us your location da, 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 da. and I could not communicate back to them and talk about a scary situation they were planning on um, search and rescue because after you don't see somebody for 45 minutes um, something's wrong I mean, that's a very long time. That's longer than it, it should take anyway, especially if you have communication. So anyway, with this Oxbow unit, I don't have to worry about something like that happening again because I have enough battery life that more than likely I'm probably worried about the other guys that have a different radio. So um, huge deal. And you can take the battery off, take a spare with you and replace it if you have to. So um, worth the investment. All right, guys, that's my quick review on the Oxbow 2.0. They do have a Bluetooth version that can connect to a headset like a Senna or something like that that goes on your helmet. Um, amazing radios. There's a reason all the top level guys are switching to Oxbow and you should too, honestly. Um, I stand behind this product 100%. I'm happy to be a part of the Oxbow team. And um, yeah, I bet my life on this radio, definitely. So. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions regarding this radio or anything Oxbow, let me know. Reach out in the comments and in, in the uh, description down below, I will have a link to where you can get this. And uh, yeah, have a great, safe year riding, whether it's dirt bikes, snowmobiles, whatever. Stay in communication. Don't be that guy that doesn't have a radio because it is a pain in the butt to have one of those in your group. And uh, stay safe out there. Okay, you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.